tonight. From MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, it's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. of Broadway just to the east of us and we are under the lights as well at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Tonight it's the Thursday opener for the new NFL season as it'll be the Houston Texans taking on the New York Jets. is finally over. Brandon God and Charles Davis here on the start of a new NFL season and we kick it off with a bang on Thursday night. What's interesting about these Thursday night games is oftentimes we hear people say is it really fair for players to play on Thursday night? But what did we hear from both of these teams going into this one? How excited they were to have the spotlight on their teams, their franchises, the rest of the league watching them go at it. And no run back on this one, so the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. And they will be led out by their 6-3 quarterback. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of a team, I think they're going to check every box with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. He stays calm under any kind of pressure, and he brings out the best of his teammates each and every week. now on second down. Oh, he put it on the carpet, a fumble, and it's scooped up. There he goes, left side. And he takes it to the house. It's a fumble recovery for a Jet touchdown. So this defense clicking early in the year, week one, the return for a touchdown. The organization made a concerted effort in the offseason to improve this defense. I have to say they like the early returns. Point after try, forthcoming. And he's one for one on the new year as his kick is good. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Taken at about the one. And he returns this to the 22. Here's Kyron Williams running out for another possession. He's probably a little angry at himself. It was his fumble, obviously, a moment ago that led to the scoop and score touchdown that has him down early. And now we find out about the psychology aspect of being a coach. Because when you have a guy that's just happened, some people want to take him out of the game immediately. Others say, you know something? Let's feed him the ball again next series and see if he's going to be able to atone for it. Let's see what they decide to do. From the 24 now, here's the second and eight. Looking to throw. Stroud. That is caught. Michael Pittman with it. Now he'll get this one way up, just shy of the 45-yard line. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know 
they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. First down, here's Stroud. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down, heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. A first run now for Kyron Williams. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Here's third and nine. Back to throw. Stroud. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Dio Odengbo drops him for a loss of 10. And it's going to be fourth and long. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on to punt for Houston. Jets offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And leading them out is their fifth year quarterback. All right, I know it's something that every team says every season, but they genuinely believe that this is their year and having him a quarterback is a big part of that. They think he's poised for a huge season and can really be the type of player that brings out the best of each weapon that they have on this offense. Behind that type of performance, their goals are high. They envision a lot of wins and finishing among the league's best on their side of the ball. Clark to throw on second down. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, partner, that's the start that you want right there. And you know he spent the entire offseason throwing hundreds, I'd probably say thousands of passes, getting ready for that moment. The first throw of the new season. He's dreamed about it, thought about it, and now it's out of the way. Yeah, one for one, a lot more to go. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They'll go again with Bush. He takes this for three to the 29. Here comes third down at seven. Operating from the gun, Clark. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered, but how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I will hear about that from him soon. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Looking to throw. Clark. It's caught. Cooper. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. From the 43, it's second and three. They'll run it with Bush. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. 
And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there, checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. Stroud now on first and ten. He'll drop this down to Williams. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Operating from the gun. Stroud, throw over the middle, is taken in by Dell. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. On second down, it's Stroud. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Texans football to start quarter two as they've got it with a first and ten. Stroud will look to throw once more. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Williams. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Play action. Stroud now. Throw left side taken in by Pittman. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 34-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Okay, this offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. In motion right, that's Dell. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Back to throw. Stroud. That's complete. It's Collins. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 18. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. A first red zone opportunity of the new year here as they come up now first and 10. Looking to throw. Stroud over the middle complete. That's Williams. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Back to throw. Stroud. Screen play set up for Williams. Touchdown, Texans. Kyron Williams. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Texans go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. An excellent, long, sustained offensive drive. And now they can look across the field and see a defense that looks a little bit beaten down. Right now, as an offensive coordinator, you're thinking to yourself, can I dial up the knockout punch?
And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. Is this a touchdown? That's the question. CD, what are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to cross. So take away the touchdown. The officials rule he did not get the football to break the plane. Back to throw again. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Dalton Schultz there to make the grab. And the Texans are an extra point away from drawing level. Yeah, he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Aldrich Rosas on for the extra point. And he starts his new year off on the right foot as well, as this kick is good. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it was the tight end Dalton Schultz on the touchdown reception to cap the drive. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. They were forced to punt on their initial drive of the new season. Now they're ready to go as they begin again with a first and 10. Off play action. Clark. Wide open. Amari Cooper. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Off the play fake, Clark. He's got his receiver, Cooper. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, he's been a busy man in this first half. They've targeted him quite a bit, including both plays here to start this drive. And until that defense starts reacting a little better, they may just keep going back to him. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory, down at the 31. Off play action, Clark. Oh, he catches it off the tip. It wasn't even intended for him. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, sure looked pretty coming off of his hand, but sometimes you might have to take a little bit off of it. That one looked a little too hot to handle. Yeah, but off the tip, hey, they still got the catch, right? It's amazing, isn't it? Even when it goes wrong, it, it turns out right. right. <laughs> So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. And Wilson in motion left. And he'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. Down inside the 10. And a great job there to read that one defensively. They strung him out, did not allow him to cut up field. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with He's got Wilson, and that's a Jets touchdown. A great play there. There to make the grab. And the Jets have taken the lead. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, 
put his foot in the ground, and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 14 to 7. That time, 75 yard drive, five plays. And Garrett Wilson capped things off with a touchdown grab. The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Houston set to take over. They came out not so hot. The first quarter, they were sputtering a little bit, but they seem to have stayed the course and really righted the ship here in the second. Well, let's face it, all the preparation that goes into getting ready for a game, all the scouting reports, the practice, the repetition. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a jet touchdown. So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game, and now this time an interception return for another score. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20. comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And not the first time that they're coming back out off of a turnover, but the last one really hurt Charles with that pick six. And it feels like the whole team's infected right now, doesn't it? It's not just been one person. It's kind of been a group effort where the mistakes have happened. Can they put that aside, kind of start over, and put together a nice drive? Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Looking to throw, Stroud, and this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And they get to Stroud, nowhere to go, and he goes down. Will McDonald gets in there to take him down. Well, that's the second time he's been sacked so far in the first half. And if they have designs on having a big year, on going anywhere, they've got to find a way to keep him upright so he can throw the football. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of it. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. 
Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Here's Clark on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Bush. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. They'll look to throw again. Looking for Cooper. That's complete. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Now Clark to throw on first and 10. Caught by Wilson. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Now a second and two. Back to throw. Clark over the middle. Amari Cooper, it's complete. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. Looking to throw. Clark throwing middle, and it's complete. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Clark now looking to throw on second down. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Tyler Conklin in the final seconds of the first half. And the Jets are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it ends with a Jet touchdown. So just eight ticks remaining here. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we have reached halftime here in the Thursday night opener as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, good to get another season underway. We'll get back to you guys for the second half of the season opener. But first, let's take a look at what's still to come here in the opening weekend of the NFL season. The best of the early games on Sunday may just be in Buffalo, where the Bills face a big test as they'll square off against the Miami Dolphins. Excellent games in the late afternoon window as well, one being out in Los Angeles, where it'll be the Rams taking on the Detroit Lions. And lastly, in the national game on Sunday night, definitely one to tune in for, as it'll be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Atlanta Falcons. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Out is the Texans' kick team as they'll send this one away. It 
And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And the Jets going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. First and 10 and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Throwing to start the drive. Clark, a short throw to Conklin, the tight end. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up second down. This is Bush, and only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Here's third and three. Operating from the gun, Clark. That is, cuts the 40-yard line. No question that they're going to continue to look his way. Six catches in the first half, and now seven on the game. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. They'll try the right side with Bush. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. From the 43, here's second and nine. Now Bush running left. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. Third and four. Operating from the gun, Clark. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Oh, this is off the side of his foot. And this punt goes out of bounds and it'll be marked inside the 40. Here's the Texans offense now, reading for their first possession of the second half. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. They give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional in the battle of game plans. Theirs has been superior. Seven yards there and a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Meanwhile, Stroud's throw complete into the hands of Schultz here. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets, 42. Up the middle, it's Williams. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Stroud sets up the play action. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Michael Pittman, 31 yards. And the Texans are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. PAT up and good by Rosas. And that cuts the lead to 28-14.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. And New York set to take the field. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting in a great spot. Up two scores here in the third quarter. Start on the ground with Bush. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32 yard line here, second and three. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. the run it's Bush and he finds a little bit of room enough for four yards it'll be second down back to throw Clark caught it's Wilson that one a first down pickup of eight Looking to throw, Clark. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. And second, it's Wilson. And he's gonna be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans 37. Now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. A give left side, Bush, and he stopped immediately there. Second and 10, third quarter of the season opener. Operating from the gun, Clark. Open man here is Conklin. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 27-yard line. Off the play fake, Clark. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Derek Stingley picks it. And the Texans are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead, third quarter, but that, not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. Here is Michael Pittman and the rest of this offense getting set for the upcoming drive. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good, but there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're solely keeping him in check, but he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, make, you do. It makes get, you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. And Stroud now to throw. Throw right side, complete to Williams. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. This is going to be third and 13. 
It's complete to Williams for the first at about the 36-yard line. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on to punt for Houston. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. Just a yard return there after a punt of 49. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. And New York set to take the field. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And just not a ton of room to work with. He'll get it to the 15 for a gain of two. No surprise there, Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. They'll hand it off to Bush, and he's able to get this one up to the eight-yard line this time. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought up a punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys will get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. Here's the Jets punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. Now a fair catch is called for and taken a few yards across midfield. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Texans will take over. The Houston's offense taking over again. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news, but this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Stroud to the air on first and 10. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. And the Jets are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. But here in the fourth quarter, defensively, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive backs and say, OK, take your best shot. And that time, it's intercepted. And we've often seen teams go into the prevent early, way too early. And sometimes they get too soft in their coverages. But not in this case. They understood the situation and played it with the proper aggression. Good starting position for the Jets as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. Throwing to start the drive. Clark, and he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Now a throw here to his running back. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it's second down. Back to throw. Clark, a short throw to Conklin, the tight end. Two yards on the pickup there. And it brings up third and five now. They run up the middle with Bush. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. 
Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. Well, the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They'll try and run for it. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for first down. Looking to throw. Clark over the middle. Cooper with it. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll be second down. They give to Bush going right. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and 10. Back to throw. Clark. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Now second and five. Looking to throw. Clark. And a completion to Wilson. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. They'll try and run for the first with Bush. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. First and goal, Bush fighting his way in for a Jets touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Jets are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's scooped up by the Jets. And he'll take this back down inside the 20. So problems compounding themselves here on the return. They just give up the touchdown, and now they lose the football. Yeah, partner, things are starting to unravel a little bit for them right in front of our eyes. They're going to be looking for some answers and quickly. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Bush trying the middle. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Ball at the 14 for second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. Bush. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Third and three. It's a game of two. Brings up third and three. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Bush. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. And well, they could just run this clock out, but here is the field goal unit on fourth down. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Well, partner, the 
the season officially underway. It was great to be back with you, obviously, but the first game of the year, always a special one, and love, I know you do too, love having it on a Thursday night. Yeah, I think it makes it special, right? It makes it so that everyone is just watching, all eyes on it on a special night like that. I think it's going to be a great season, partner. Can't wait for the next several months. We know there are going to be surprises all the way through the season. And before we know it, we'll be talking about opening up on a Thursday night again next season. So for the Jets, they begin the new campaign with a victory here in front of the home crowd in the Thursday opener. And they'll get a few extra days to get ready for next week. Meanwhile, for Houston, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll be on the road next week as they get a date with the Jaguars in Jacksonville. I'm Brandon Gunn. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.